Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be going over two products from the new ColourPop Move For Me collection. Now I keep wanting to call this the Making Moves collection because that's the name of the palette, but it's Move For Me. I don't know why I didn't know that, but I didn't know that. <laughs> Anywho, I picked up a couple items from the collection and the first thing is the Making Moves palette, which is this beauty right here. I'm gonna be showing you guys two different looks, the one that I'm wearing right now and then the one that I wore in yesterday's video, which is this look here and that will be at the end. I also picked up one of the two blushes. There's lip products as well as a Super Shock Duo. I have to say that slowly. And I just decided that uh, I wanted to just pick up these two items and give it a go. Really and truly, I was the most interested in the shadow palette, but then I saw the blush and it just looked really beautiful. What I'm gonna do is go over all the information, the swatches, all that. I'm gonna give you guys my opinion, and then we will get into the two eye demos that I did for you guys. Starting off with the Making Moves palette. This retails for $14. You're getting that cardboard packaging. I know a lot of people do not like the plastic, which I completely understand, so need not worry. This one is cardboard. You've got the names of the shadows on the back, as well as on the inside, which I truly appreciate, even though I uh, was silent in my tutorials. No mirror, but these are the gorgeous shades. Cool toned mauves, absolutely beautiful, and you've got metallics and mattes in here no glitter shade. So again, need not worry if you are somebody who does not like the glitter shades. Let's go ahead and get into the swatches. R&R &R described as a pale muted matte pink, solitaire soft matte mauve, big moves soft matte lilac, by coastal metallic pink ivory, a la mode, true mauve with pinpoints of silver and copper pearl, mauve on top metallic icy rose, tongue-tied matte mauve with pinpoints of silver and violet pearl, marquee muted matte plum, and then big fig, mid-tone dusty lavender. The blush that I picked up is in the shade Coast to Coast. It retails for $8, but this is in the plastic packaging, just so you guys know. It's not the same as like the cardboard on the eyeshadow palette, but you do get a mirror on the inside. I'm gonna show you guys a close-up of this. It has this beautiful flower on the inside, and it's described as a rich blush that glides on smoothly and leaves cheeks with a natural and healthy flush. This formula contains silky powders that adhere to the skin, providing long wear and and color that stays true all day. The soft feeling of the blush blends evenly and can be layered to your desired intensity. For my thoughts on the products, I'm just gonna start off with the blush because it's already in my hands. <laughs> I applied the blush using my Sonia G Designer Pro and I initially just kind of tapped into it and then I realized that I didn't really pick up very much product. So I had to actually swirl because when you first go into this, it's slightly harder pressed so you kind of have to get that little top layer off, but then after you do, let me just show you, you can see it picks up product very easily and it's definitely buildable. But straight out the gate, you can't, this isn't one that you can just like tap your brush into and pick up product because it's not really powdery. It's definitely a little bit more firmly pressed and it's something that you can build on the skin. But I love the color, I love the way it looks on my skin. It's really, really beautiful. And I don't think I have very many shades like this in my collection. Like looking at this color with the eyeshadow, it's just like the perfect combination. Like that blush color is perfect for this palette. It's, it's really, really pretty. All right, now for my thoughts on the palette. Do I like it or do I not? I actually love it, you guys. <laughs> I love this palette. I have used every single shade in here and I'm not disappointed. I love all the colors that they chose. I was so shocked today when I was applying Big Moves into my crease. I was expecting this to be chalky, dusty, whatever, but it actually has this gorgeous pastel, not, not really pastel, because when I think of pastel, I think of more along the lines of like a brighter lavender. It's it's a very light purple that's still pigmented and not 
chalky. It's so beautiful. And then this one right here actually goes really well with this one, but I didn't, I didn't get to show you guys that look. I could have done three looks, but I didn't. I know, I know. <laughs> but this is really beautiful. You can use it in the crease and build it up if you are, hmm, I'm an NC25. I don't think you could be able to do it if you're darker than that, but it does work well on the brow arch without it being too bright. You'll see in one of the tutorials that I used this and then went in with one of the metallic shades to brighten it up. The mattes blend out beautifully. They're pigmented, gorgeous. The metallics, so, so good. I love this one right here. Love it so much. But really, I love all of them. I used a la mode for my liner in the first look that I did. And it's just gorgeous. I think this was so well done. Tongue Tide has those little micro glitters in there. So it's like a matte formula with the tiny glitters. You can use your finger to apply this and really tap it on to something that's a little bit more sticky to try and get the glitters to adhere. But really, I, it's just too much to fool with if you ask me. It's a beautiful shade. It worked out well. The entire palette worked out well. If you like these type of colors, I would highly suggest this one. This is definitely something I'm gonna grab for a lot. I love these type of tones. I love that they have the purpley mauves and then the softer ones. It's just, I don't know, it's just really well done. I could go on and on and on and on about this palette. Definitely a hit and I like the blush as well. So if you're wondering if I suggest or not, Absolutely. freaking lootly <laughs> I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Stay tuned if you would like to see the two looks that I created. If not, that's cool. Thank you for sticking around. I hope everybody is staying safe and sound and healthy. I love you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.